The Tunguska Animal Survival Anomaly, 1908, Siberia. They say the forest died in a single breath, a blinding flash, a sky that tore open, and a shockwave so powerful it flattened 2,000 square kilometers of trees. Yet somehow, somehow, certain animals near the blast center walked away alive. This is the story of that mystery. At dawn on June 30, 1908, the Evenki hunters of central Siberia felt the world shift beneath their feet. Birds exploded out of the treetops. Reindeer lifted their heads all at once, as if listening to a voice only they could hear. The air hummed, low, electric, uneasy. Then came the light. Witnesses later said it was like a second sun rising where no sun should be, swelling with unbearable brightness. The sky erupted. A column of fire plunged downward, bursting before it ever reached the ground. The explosion rolled across the taiga in waves, hot, deafening, violent. Trees snapped like matchsticks. Cabins shuddered and collapsed. And in the center of it all, the land fell silent. When scientists finally reached Tunguska years later, they expected a crater. They expected ash, ruins, signs of absolute annihilation. Instead, they found something else, something stranger. Animal tracks, fresh ones. A reindeer herd had moved through the blast zone only days before the expeditions arrived. A fox had been spotted weaving between scorched trunks. Birds nested in trees that leaned like broken spears. And the strangest report of all came from an Avenki herder. His loyal sled dogs, who had been frighteningly close to the epicenter that morning, had survived without a single burn. How? That question became the obsession of geologists, physicists, and shockwave experts for more than a century. Some believe the animals sensed the event moments before it happened, dropping low to the ground instincts, shielding them from the worst. Others theorize that forests can bend shockwaves in unpredictable ways, creating pockets of survivable pressure known as shadow zones. A few scientists whispered about electromagnetic oddities, natural anomalies that could scramble senses and create patterns no formula could predict. But the Evenki had a simpler explanation. They said the animals listened. They felt the trembling in the earth, the shift in the wind, the pulse of something ancient and immense passing through the forest. And unlike humans, who ignored the warnings in the sky, the animals moved, adapted, and survived. Maybe that's the heart of the Tunguska anomaly. Not luck, not mystery, but intuition older than memory. A reminder that even in the face of unthinkable power, nature leaves clues and survival favors those who pay attention. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow.